Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will continue the part 3 of our discussion about base rate and percentage. But this time, we focus on finding the percentage. Before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our video lesson and subscribe na rin kayo. Our objective, solve the percentage. Percentage is the part of considered in its quantitative relation to the whole. In other words, it is the part of the whole. So, yun ang tatandaan natin. Siya ay part of the whole. Like for example, meron tayong 50 as the whole and we take 20 from the whole. So, 20 is the percentage. And the number being compared to another number is the base. So, for example, we have... Okay, so to find the percentage, multiply the base and the rate. So, ganun lang yung formula natin. Imumultiply lang natin yung base natin doon sa rate. So, what is 40% of 300? So, what is 40% of 300? So, yung base natin dito is 300 and the rate is 40%. So, 40% or if we are going to convert into decimal, that is 0 0.40. So, multiply lang natin using the formula. 300 times 0 0.40, the answer is 120. So, ibig sabihin, Yung 40% ng 300 ay 120. Next, 2 third of 300 is what number? So, given the base is 300 and our rate is 2 third. So, multiply base times rate, 300 times 2 third. So, dito pwede tayo mag-cancellation. No? Pwede tayo mag-cancel na dito, 300 divide 3, 100 na lang yan. 100 times 2, that is 200. Okay, next, what number is 5 over 8 of 640? What number is 5 over 8 of 640? So, that is, the base is 640 and the given rate is 5 over 8. So, multiply 640 times 5 over 8. So, pwedeng ganito, no? unahin nyo muna, 640 times 5 bago i-divide sa 8 or Pwede kayo mag-cancellation. And the answer is 400. So, ibig sabihin yung 5 over 8 ng 640 ay 400. Another example, in a class of 40, 30% are girls. How many are girls? So, kung sa klase, 40 sila lahat, 30% doon ay babae. So, ilan lahat ang babae? So, paano natin kukunin? So, the given base is 40 and the rate is 30%. So, multiply lang natin, kukunin natin yung uh, number ng girls. So, 40 times 0 0.30, the answer is 12. So, ibig sabihin 30% ng 40, yung total ng uh, number of students ay 12 girls. So, again, yung 30%. No, 40 ay 12 and that is the number of girls. Next, how many percent are boys? So, ila, kung 12 doon, ba 40 lahat. Kung 12 doon, yung girls, so alam na natin na yung boys doon ay ilan? 30 what? So, 28? Yes, 28 kasi 40 minus 12 is 28. So, using the formula, so kung 30% yung babae, ba? The whole class represent 100%, so minus na lang natin yun, no? So, ibig sabihin, 70% yung lalaki. So, number of boys, a uh, percent of boys is equal to 100% minus a uh, percent of girls, so 100% minus 30%. The answer is 70%. So, what will be the answer? So, kung... Titingnan natin yung percentage ng boy, 70%. So, 70% times 40. So, 70 per... Okay, so this is the percentage ng lalaki, 70%. So, kung kukunin natin yung number of boys sa buong... Uh, sa loob ng isang klase na kung saan merong 40 students. So, 70 times... Uh, 0.70 times 40, the answer is 28. O, dito pa lang malalaman na agad natin. Kasi kung 40, 40 yung, yung total ng students, and then 12 doon yung babae. So, yung natira doon, yung number ng lalaki. So, that is 28. 
Another problem, so an employee of Warriors Corporation receives a net monthly income of 23,750 pesos and spends 20% of this amount on food. How much money is spent on food every month? So again, so the net monthly income is 23,750 pesos and that the 20% is the spend amount. So the base here is the monthly income which is 23,750 pesos and the percent spent on food is 20%. So using the formula, so no na na. So using the formula class that is base times rate so 23750 times 0 0.20 that is 4750 so that is the amount spent on food every month another problem so mark joel purchased a new car worth of 750000 pesos he made a down payment that is 45% of the price so how much is the down payment so, yung price ng car ay 750,000. Si Mark Joel, nag-down na siya ng 45% ng total price. So, ilan yung dinown niya? So, using the formula, so, our base, again, that is the cost of the car, and nag-down siya ng 45%. So, 750,000 times 0.45, 337,500 pesos. So, ito yung binayad niya na. This is the 45% ng 750,000. So, the price or the down payment is 337,500 pesos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.